Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how Brownie works. Like any good operator, we're gonna go ahead and start checking oil here. Take off this cover here, pull it out, and uh, we will see. What? Do you see that too? No oil on the dipstick. Yeah, there is absolutely no oil on that dipstick. I'm gonna have to call our local supplier to buy a longer one. I'm gonna go ahead and call our local supplier here and uh, we will see exactly here we go. It's ringing. We'll see who picks up. Yeah, hello? Yeah, this is a, a Farmer Dre from Gardener's Orchard. I'm calling you about our 92 brownie. Yeah, the problem I'm having with it, is I was checking the oil this morning and there seems to be no oil on the dipstick. Do you guys have any, any longer ones in stock? Manufacturers aren't making no more. Why is that? Change the oil. What? And give it a start. Put the choke. Perfect. Right on time, Mono. I'm gonna go ahead and let that warm up here. I'm gonna put this cover back on, and then uh, we'll get started. Go ahead and fill her up with some fuel here, some gas. Get it going. Ah, great. Put a fancy piece of wood here. And slowly fill it. It's greased. Field up, we're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and head into field. So the moment you guys have been waiting for, how does this machine work? So this is just like a, it's called a, we call it a brownie. That's what it's called. Brownie. It's a hydraulic ladder that's all foot control. It was made especially for people who prune trees. So the way this machine works, it is an all wheel drive. So all three tires pull. And this is your, uh, your front or the steering wheel. And this wheel is controlled by this lever here in the front. So as you can see here, it's moving back and forth. And besides the steering wheel, everything is foot control. So if we go ahead and step on here, this is the platform. If you click on this lever right here, you go up. See we're going up in the orchard. Then you press the other one, it goes down. This one towards the front, if you click this way, it moves it side to side. And this one right here, forward and backwards, however you want to say. So all it is is a 27 horsepower engine with the hydraulic pump on it. And these levers just work like this, press down on them, side to side. So whenever you're in here working, your feet are always constantly going back and forth. And the only thing you're steering with your hands is the steering wheel or that wheel down that side. And what this thing that has on it has a hydraulic shears. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this on here. And it kicked on the hydraulic shears. And this hydraulic shear should cut up to a two inch branch here. And all it does once you press it. So it's just a fancy hydraulic pruner. We'll click it on there. 
real fast and easy. It is directed by the hydraulic pump on the machine. And then over here we have a pneumatic hand pruner. This one's probably 10 times lighter than the hydraulic one. So we put that air compressor on that side and then we use this one because you can go a full day using this one and not get tired. But with this hydraulic one, after about an hour or so your hands start hurting. It's just so heavy and it gets really hot from the hydraulic oil going back and forth. So then whenever you're working in the orchard, you stand on this platform, you go all the way that way and just continue working, just clear out, prune out the trees, the shears, and it's just a fast, easy going machine. It gets the job done pretty quick. The pros say you could do two acres a day with this machine, but you know, I, I can't do that because I'm not that fast. I'm just a mediocre pruner. And the only thing running it, this hydraulic cylinder here runs the steering wheel back and forth. This one lifts it up and down. And this one right here moves it side to side. And that is pretty much it. I mean, it's not too complicated. You can fit up to 300 pounds on the lift there to lift it up. So it works pretty good. So you guys are probably wondering, okay, that machine is cool but now we want to see how you work with it. So for the rest of the day, we're gonna continue pruning all of these trees. We got about five acres back here of the Jonathans and the Galas, and then we're gonna have to jump in the front of the in block one there and continue doing all those. But this machine helped us out. It was here when we purchased the orchard back in 2013. It didn't come with the farm, we had to pay for it separately, but you know, at the end of the day, it's worth the money and it helps us out a lot. You don't have to come out here with the with the ladders and stuff, it's just one machine gets the job done. So the first tree and a half is done and I just stopped to uh, show you guys I'm gonna make a complete video on uh, pruning uh, older peach trees mature apple trees I mean not peaches but just to see here this is a completely pruned tree and this one right here isn't a complete tree so you guys can see the difference here not pruned and then pruned so open it up all that stuff on the ground there's a lot of stuff on the ground here we come through and pick it up and then we chop it up here and put it back and sell it up. So it's just... But overall, without this machine here, we can never do as much as we can. It would be a lot more on the body, just a lot more ha hassle and with ladders and stuff. But with this machine right here, it really gets the job done fast. And I mean, it's fast, short and easy. You don't get tired, so. So I'm gonna continue pruning here all day long. Hopefully get 10, 20 trees done today. We'll see how many. And, uh, you know, just continue going on. Like I mentioned, I'll make a complete video on pruning a mature apple tree. But this is gonna be pretty much it for today. You guys saw how browning works, ins and out of it, exactly how, you know, the machine works and everything. And, um, you know, without this machine, we will never uh, finish a lot of the pruning here on the farm. But this is gonna be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, smash that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do post a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day.
We will see you next time.